Good morning. Today we are doing the Minkies blankets, and I'm doing I'm power doing them because Lindsay actually likes the gnomes. She thinks they're very very cute. So I'm going to make them 60 by 50 because they're 60 wide, so I'm going to make it 50 long. I always make sure the minky is going in the same direction when I put it together. Okay. So the minky's going this way. And the minky's going this way. So I want it to go the same direction. Let me find the salvage here. That goes this way. Because you want it to go the same direction. Okay, the thing about this one, they normally don't have this much of a salvage with white on the Shannon Minkies. That is my favorite because some of them shed. I made a one for my, Lindsay got one from another company, and it sheds. It's this white pile-like looking stuff, and it sheds. Well, I don't want my minkies to shed. So, just the way it is. And Shannon does not at all. It's the, it's the best. It's fabulous. So, always get Shannon. So, when you sew it, you want the stretch 90, 14 needle. Okay? You can use either a 3, 3.5, or 4 stitch length. I'm using my Epic 2. The 4 seems to work better. You always use a walking foot. You always use polyester thread. Okay? I have a serger, so I'm just using my polyester maxi lock combs. Because I'm going to be power sewing a lot of these because I'm going to use them as some Christmas gifts. Okay? The walking foot, fortunately, is in my Epic 2. I love to have the walking foot built in to whatever machine I have. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, put some glasses on. Okay, because this is so wide, let me change this out. What I did was I started one, so you guys don't have to see me. Do this for so long. I went and measured how long it took before I passed the white. So what I did, because I don't cut the salvages off, because why? Because then it tends to roll. Minky is very, very, it's forgiving, but it is very rolly. It rolls a lot, unlike cotton. Also, I just leave the salvage on the inside when I sew it. I always use like the three-quarter inch around, but of course with this one, because I have to get past the white, on the sides, what I did is I measured how far you had to go in, and I just did a line. Just inside the border where the line was, okay, of the white. Okay, on the sides. So, also, you want to make sure that you leave an opening so that you can turn it. So because I'll just sew away, sew away, and not pay attention, I have to put a line where I'm going to start and where I'm going to stop so that I have an opening. Because otherwise, I'll just be sewing along with Sammy K, and I won't even pay attention. Because I just sew, 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 sew. I'm using the stretch needle. My stitch length is a four. I have gray on top, black on the bottom. But they're the same thread company, so it's okay. You just have to make sure you have the same thread company. So I pinned all the way around. When I cut it, when I cut minkies, because I don't like anything not fitting perfectly, I cut them both at the same time, my top and my bottom, because I don't like them not to match, because it drives me nuts. I've got my laser light on, which is awesome. Oh, Sharon. I got a new chair. My other one was killing my hip. I loved the way it looked, but it wasn't a comfortable chair whatsoever. Mm. 
And of course you just sew down the bottom. And this one locks the first two so I don't to back it up, otherwise I would reverse it. I will reverse it at the end. I'm giving away today a fat quarter. So make sure you come it can be put into the drawing. And I want to make one for everybody's car. I live in Utah, so if it snows, I don't want anybody to be caught if something happens to their car. That they'll freeze and get really cold. Because I've got two grandkids that are driving. I think he just got his driver's license. Oh my gosh. I mean, six feet. My grandson is six feet. Obviously, he didn't get his height from me. And my other grandson is like 5'8. He's only 13, so. This I'm going to back. Okay. Then let me take the pins out. I didn't take them out as I sewed because I'm so far away from them, it's not going to matter. And once again, the stitch length, I have it a 4. But I check it out on your machine, you might need a 3 or a 3.5. Because I've done it on other of my machines before, and I've had a lower stitch length. Minkies also... I usually have a vacuum cleaner wherever I am because it's really hairy. I mean, it leaves all this little crap all over. Okay, after I'm done sewing, then all I do is because it's so wide, I just cut it like three quarters inch wide. You don't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter because this is going to be on the inside. Then I just angle the corners because you want to get rid of that. Okay, this one I haven't cut this wide stuff off, so I'm not going to cut it until I've cut it all off. Okay, let me put this down. I'm getting a lot of them done, so I'm all excited. Okay, then what I do... is I put right sides out. I push out the corners with my little flamingo pusher. I know Lindsay's looking at me like I've lost my marbles. And let me go over here. Then instead of sewing the seam closed, I whip stitch it. Let me find my side where I'm whip stitching it. Okay. There it is. So I'm just whip stitching it with thread. get caught on here. Oh, it got caught through the... Of course it did. Is that what I do? I only have that much left, so I'm going to cut this off. I'll re-thread it. If I can get it through the hole, anyhow. In next week, it'll be very hard to be on. One more time. Next week, it'll be on. Yeah, next week I'm going to be in Cincinnati, so it's going to be taped. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I haven't gotten that far. I've been on this Minkies kick, <laughs> like big time. And I'll show you the other ones I got done. They really turned out cute. I can't get this threaded because I'm doing two, and this is the littlest hole I've ever seen in my entire life. But I love the John James. Of course, my threaders are upstairs because I was doing a binding. You know what? I'll look for one with a bigger hole. Yep. One and 
that give another needle. Oldest for the birds, bro. I can't see like I used to. Even with glasses on, it's pretty bad. Might have to have Lindsay do this. Big city never glasses on either. Dang, I can't see. Can you see? Nope. She can't see either. Girls, I'm having a heck of a time. Can you do it, Lindsay? Okay. Let me try and find it with the other two. Yeah, I'll do that in another one another time. This is just because I want to get this done. Did you get them? Oh my girls. Here's some other ones. These aren't my favorite needles, but they work. I got stuff all over. I did a show with um the lady that owned that invented Omnigrid. And she had a booth that I was in when I first started out. She was so kind to have me in that booth. And that was in Puyallup. And she just handed me, like, tons of these needles. And I was like, well, oh, oh, thank you, honey. That was so sweet. Okay. Thanks, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So anyways, so then all I do is just whip stitch it. I just go in and out, in and out. And Minky's is so stinking forgiving that you can't see it. But I didn't want to stitch because then you're going to see that line. And I didn't want to see a line. Make sure you comment so you can win a that quarter. I should have been more careful with my thread, but with my thing, but I guess as I've been moving stuff. I cut so much stuff yesterday, it was like the vacuum cleaner was <laughs> I just left it on. Because I want to give all my grandkids, even though they're old, I want to give them Halloween blankets. And they'll probably go, Nana, you're so weird. And they think I'm weird. But that's okay. It's pretty sad when you cut your grandkids' hair and they're so tall you have to have them bend over. Or go down in the chair because I'm so short. And they always come in. <laughs> and they stand really tall. And I think, I'm five feet. I don't think it takes a lot. Eight third graders are taller than I am. Eight-year-olds. That doesn't take a whole lot. Okay, so then I got that. Just make sure you tie it really well. So then you have that. Then I'm going to change my thread. Because I'm going to finish up with this one. And then what I do is this is about mm, a little over two and a half inches from here. And I'm going to, what I did was I pulled it out like this. And then I put my little 
clippies all the way around after I was done so everything looks nice and neat like this and then what I do is let me change the threads and I'll show you But I was so excited that this matched pretty good. I was like, okay, I don't have to go buy thread. And it's 100% polyester. I don't have to worry. What kind of clips do you use? I just use hair clips. Because I have like 10,000 of them. You can use those ones from, um, what company is that? That use a bunch of them. Clover. The Clover clippies that look like, I think I have some here. Somewhere. Yes. These. But because I have 10,000 of these, <laughs> and they're a lot less expensive, I just use those. And they work just as well. So then I sew all the way around. Like the two and a half, a little over two and a half inch. So I've got it all done all the way around except one little side. Make sure that it's nice and flat. So I have this little green tape. I did like four of them. So I have like a guide. Then I have my laser light because I just like to know I'm going straight. Love the laser light on this machine. It is the bomb. I just love it. I did one of the minkies with um, 3.5. I didn't like the stitch length. I thought it was just a little too tight. That's why I went to 4. And every machine, I don't care which one, you can have a 2.5 to sew. And it's a little tighter than other machines. The stitch length looks different. That's from having way too many machines. But check it out before you do yours. See what's going to be a little scrap of it? Because you'll know right away what's going to be the best. going to give it to one of your grandkids that are really little, you know, this, you know, always, always a walking foot, you have to have a walking foot, otherwise you will be nuts fell. something else in the corners because I like the fact I like the corners just to look nice and clean. Oh, let me finish this and find my scissors. The funny thing is I'll buy something for a neck thing for my scissors and I'm so stinking not tall. 
got the scissors. Will poke me on my lap, and I'm like going, okay, that does not feel good. And then one time I had one of those things that you put your scissors on like this, and I let it go, and it almost poked me in the eye if I hadn't had glasses on. Like, oh, that's not so good either. So, oh, I don't know, girls. Okay, then what I do in the corner, let me cut this also. is I go from the corner here to the end of the corner. It's too thick from here, and that lock. And I look, have it look like it is mitered. Even though it's not. I'm sorry. Can they see it okay? Let me cut it and then you show it. Thread so it looks good. And I'll do that in all four corners. And then I just, I don't know, it just looks better. And then I'll do one with my bling on it. I've got some... I ordered one of these yesterday, which was not a good thing. I don't know if Lindsay's going to like it, but it, it was the thickest I could find. So it's nice and warm for her. In a car. There's something about Minky's fabric that makes it feel all nesty, I think. The window is a coming sooner than we think. It actually takes me about four hours to do one blanket, about a 50 by a 60 is what I figured out. So that's not too bad, actually. projects that take a whole lot longer, that's for sure. Okay, so, let me show you the ones I've got done. So, this is the one with the birds. I just think it's so cute. And then, of course, I got the matching navy on the inside. And then, I've got, I thought this was really cute, too. I didn't know who would, oops, I'm not showing sure this, want this. But I love the gray and white buffalo chest. And then I did the gray on the back. And then, of course, Lindsay's favorite, the gnomes. I want to give one to each of my grandkids. And if they don't use it, oh well, save it for some other time of their lives. Like, the right way? But I thought that was so cute. I love gnomes. Lindsay doesn't like them, but I like them. Okay, and to 
today I'm giving away two flat quarters. And here they are. It's Jilly Studio. And this is some of her cute little ballerinas. Fabric. Okay. First person is Maria Moore. Just send Lindsay your address. And the second person is Cheryl Dahlman. Quick points at Gmail. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please share. And thank you so much for watching and God bless. And we'll see you next week.